Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Hambone here, and in today's video, we're going to be going over my tips and tricks uh, for buying ships in No Man's Sky. This is my just my beginner's guide to purchasing ships in No Man's Sky. Let's say you just got tired of the uh, ship that you're flying around in, that little uh, radiant pillar. I mean, let's be honest, it's only going to last you so long, right? You haven't spent it, hopefully, haven't spent a fortune upgrading it. But by this point but if you have it's okay too but you want to get rid of it you want something new you want something fresh but you really don't know how to purchase a ship well actually it is supremely easy to purchase new ships in no man's sky and can i just say man this game is beautiful sometimes look at this scenery wow it's gorgeous what we're going to do now is go ahead and hop in this ship here and i purchased this s-class shuttle for the purposes of today's video um we're just going to roll out to the space station. Give me just a second. I'm going to get out of the atmosphere here. We're just going to roll out to the space station that is really close to this planet, which is why I'm landed on this little desolate planet here. Um, <clears throat> we're going to roll into that space station, and we're going to talk a little bit more about what you should purchase, your purchasing decisions, etc. Now, quick note, the Viking, and I'm going to get this wrong, okay? I'm going to list on the screen uh, the race, and then the ships that they are most common. The Gex are transporters, and then I want to say that the Corvax are explorers, and the Vikings are fighters. If I get that wrong, I will uh, slap it up on the screen. Correct answer. But what you want to look for is a Class 3 economy system, which I am in, and you need the economy scanner to notice that, and then you can see it in the galaxy map unless you just want to travel to each one to try and find one which takes forever but if you've done my money making guide which i very highly recommend you at least check out the video even if you don't like the methodology i know some people have had issues with how i made my money or my units rather in no man's sky but if you haven't seen that video i suggest you go check it out because by that point you will have an economy scanner in your ship but let's say you purchase a new ship and you want to upgrade it so what we're going to do is show you how you get ship upgrades or the best way to get ship upgrades really quickly and really easily the most efficient way i guess instead of going over here which you can do and purchasing them from the vendor which you can do so this guy is going to do your starship upgrades so you can look here and see he's got some upgrade modules he's got some nice less class modules you spend some nanites on that that's fine but you can also instead of spending nanites just throw money at the problem and use units to purchase ships and then go over here to this little terminal and scrap them which is what we're going to do with this S-Class shuttle. And the only thing I hate about it is I like the name of this thing, Song of Radom. Pretty cool looking name. We're going to go ahead and scrap it here. Yes, let's go ahead and scrap this ship. Okay. Now, because we just scrapped it, you can see that we have gotten... Let's see what we've got. We got a S-Class shield module, an S-Class pulse engine model, and an S-Class hyperdrive model. These are fantastic upgrades we also got two storage augmentations which is also fantastic and then all this stuff you see here which is stuff that you sell this is what you sell here uh, these little items here and this item this item this item to get your units back you get 70 percent of your units back of the value of the ship so if you pay two million then you get 70 percent of that back when you scrap it and uh, we can see here there's no more ships so we're going to go ahead there's the shuttle of radon just an a so we're going to go ahead and swap down here, and I'm going to show you how to look. You use your analysis scanner. You look at the ship, and you say, okay, I like what it's got here. I like what's going on. I like the design. I like the color. Whatever the case may be, I would recommend not buying anything at least under A-class. I would only buy A-class and up because it's really irritating to upgrade the class on a ship. Unless you just really like it, I would recommend only buying A-class and up. Specifically, if you can find an S-class you like, that's the best thing to do. But an A-class can be upgraded to an S-class easier than you can upgrade a C or a B-class to an S-class. So there is that. But we're going to go ahead and purchase this thing here. We're going to say, yes, I want to buy your ship. All you got to do is click on uh, Negotiate Price. Or click on, hey, I want to buy your starship. Click on Negotiate Price. We are now the proud owner of the Song of Radom. So we can take those upgrade modules that we got earlier, and we can apply them to the ship. And simple as that, we just upgrade the pulse engine. We can take and upgrade the hyperdrive. And we can take and have an upgraded modules on the ship. So what that does is allows us to have more range. You see, we get more hyperdrive strength, etc., just by slapping these things in the ship. So we go ahead, and I don't have to get in here to do it. But what we actually have to do is install them, right? So you saw the range that we had there. We slap them on here. This isn't good enough. You actually have to take and 
click the install button come on you have to forgive me i'm having a little bit of a struggle here with playing on pc i just swapped over and you hit install then it makes the module itself and then you put it on there so you same thing here come on install put it on there install put it on there you could have at least you could have sold those for nanites at that little terminal over there if you didn't want to install them on the ship but now you see we've upgraded and now we have a we've three times our shield strength and our hyperdrive range just by slapping those modules on there which is really going to make a big difference and you'll see in a second um just how simple it is you know that's purchasing ships in a nutshell then you can go right over here to this terminal you can scrap whatever you don't want and get your modules out of it and then upgrade again super simple process and that's really all there is to it for purchasing ships we're going to go ahead and scrap this one because i don't really want it but that's it that's all you got to do to purchase a personal ship and now there's also you can purchase a frigate by and i'll show you how to do that now you can go purchase a frigate and uh, i really don't want to use this ship but that's all i got um you can fly out here, purchase frigates to use in your fleet. And you do that by flying around in space a little bit. You can see there's a little thing there that's like a ship with a unit. So that's what we're going to go for, a little diamond. There you go, recruitable frigate. So we're going to fly down here. And the captain of this ship's going to be like, hey, man, I want to talk to you. So what he's going to do is he's going to get a little notice there, incoming message. Click on your starship communicator. He's going to say, hey, you want to expand your fleet? Why don't you look at my ship? So we're going to look at his ship. And we're going to say, okay. He's a Class C support. He's a supply vessel. We might as well just go ahead and purchase this ship. So we're going to purchase it. Now, you say, what happens now? Well, what we got to do now is go out into space a little ways where we can summon our freighter. And we'll do that by going here. Cannot rule freighter here. Okay, hang on just a moment. Too close to a planet. But we're going to fly out into space a little bit. Get away from this planet. <clears throat> And we are going to slap our freighter in here. And I'm going to show you the management screen for the use of the uh, frigates, which you can use to send out on missions and do various little things with. Okay, we should be good to go here. Yeah. Okay, there's our freighter. Now we're going to fly on in here. And remember, we just purchased that frigate, okay? So now we can send him on a mission. You know, once we have the, uh, provide the correct materials, we can go ahead and send him out on a mission. So you can just land here in your freighter. So we've landed on our freighter, as you can see. And what we're going to do is run up here and to the command center of the freighter. And this is to manage your uh, frigates. You know, you can send them out on missions. And each mission, depending on the difficulty, brings back a few hundred thousand units, some rare materials, etc. I just actually completed a mission a moment ago. And got let me find it. this right here, artificial roots. Uh, very rare material. You can see it sells for quite a bit of money. Just a nice little touch there. And this is how I make money mostly now once I've made my billion units. I don't really need uh, to make money anymore. You know, this just makes me a few million at a time. And it's just a nice little mini game here to manage my fleet. So you talk to this guy here, and he's going to say, View potential expeditions. You're going to pull that up. These are all the missions that you can send your frigates on, right? So we'll say, let's go here. We just want to do this trade expedition. Uh, looks good. Assign a ship. Uh, and which one did we just buy? I think we bought this one. So what we're going to do is assign him. And him. 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 And we might as well just assign this one too. All five ships. And now we're going to... We don't have the fuel. But if we had the fuel, we could assign these ships and send them on their way. So all you got to do is get the uh, fleet fuel, and you're good to go. Then once your missions come back, the expeditions come back, then you can run down here to this room, wherever you put this room, and collect your... Uh, this just tells you your little commander says, hey, we did this. This gives you like a readout of what happened on the missions and your money that you made as well as items you got. And that's how you run the freighter or frigate system, the frigate system from the freighter. And I would recommend launching a few of these a day just so you can get a little bit of passive income from these missions. Now, as you can see here, you get a lot of ships in here. And ooh, that's a nice looking ship, but 
this is my little exotic ship here. You can see that you get a lot of your own ships. This is also mine. Nope, that one's not mine. But you get your own ships in here. That one over there is mine. Um, and various other little ships with your hanging out in your freighter. So just a little bit of nice of a side note. But hopefully this video was helpful. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and drop a subscribe if you would and like the video. I've got some more No Man's Sky content coming up as well as some Albion Online and then some Lost Ark videos as soon as it releases. Overall, though, hope you had a great day. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.